This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Uh, today, well, in all honesty, it's been a very, very busy week and I've been trying to get all the playthroughs done. So I just wanted to take some time on a Saturday today to kind of show you what we have coming down the pike here uh, that you're going to see reviews on while I'm also trying to do all these playthroughs. So we have that, that six to eight weeks of just playthroughs. But there's a lot of interesting stuff that I'm very excited about that I want to make sure I cover. Now, normally I'd, I'd cover GMT today, but uh, I just wanted to really swallow this a little bit more uh, and, and, and make sure that I'm telling you the right stuff. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about that game in a second. Uh, a couple of things that we're going to be taking a look at is the Lost Ones Collector's Edition. Uh, this is very interesting because... Um, I just gotten this in. It is from the Dreams and Shadows, which was a very, very good game, uh, underrated game, as a matter of fact. But this is kind of this this adventure where you're dealing with nightmare, and uh, yeah, I'm into it. Uh, Voidfall, which is down there, and it's, I just don't feel like picking it up right this second. I'm still trying to swallow that. Um, I've been reading the book on that. Uh, we also have the Fog, uh, the Fog Escape from Paradise, a very unique game from uh, X O I I O X Games, if that's what they call it. I thought this was a, uh, um, but but this is very interesting because there is this fog coming and you have to get your islanders off and they're getting in the way of each other. And uh, you can play this solo, and I'm really interested in this. We're going to be reviewing this as well. Now, the game I was going to try to get up for today, which is a jest of Robin Hood, which will be up on next Saturday. So we'll make sure that we have that taped and uh, ready to go for you guys, of course. I'm going to put that over there. Uh, another great game from our good friends over at Mark Walker and Flying pig games and that's 1980 well it's 85 uh afghan graveyards of empires which is sweet that's what i'm gonna say on that one uh another game from uh grand gamers guild which i thought the other one was from uh turin nag 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 na nag tur na nag well, I, i'm not even gonna try to say it and don't correct me because i don't care um, but this really looks fantastic. This is you are telling, you are a Celtic uh, storyteller, and um, this just really hit home with me, and I really like this. So um, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to taking and reviewing that. Uh, another interesting game, I love dungeon de defense games, and this one's a little bit simpler, but keep the heroes out. Uh, a neat little game that we got in um, and we are going to be uh, knocking this out as well this really uh, seemed to catch my eye and well here it is so we'll definitely check it out everybody has talked about this game and and uh, sack serenade keeper does anybody really care what the Game Boy Geek thinks I don't um, it's amazing but uh earth i'll take i'll take tom's word word for it man versus meeple those guys are pretty decent but earth really is a great game i've been very fascinated in this and i can't wait to check this out this will be about two weeks down the line uh one that uh i am planning on doing a playthrough of that you'll see during our playthrough week is the Binding of Isaac for, uh, for Souls. Uh, I've got a couple of boxes of that, and, and my son was actually interested in it, so that uh, is going to, we're going to learn that, and we are going to be showing that one off for you guys. Also, uh, a game, uh, actually there are two games that I'm very, very excited about, uh, I actually wrote them to see if they would send me a copy, and they basically laughed at me. But Incredible Dream and Kinfire Delve, 
Uh, these really look interesting. I love card games. So we're going to give this. I have the Scorn Stockade and the Vainglory's Grotto that I'm going to check out, which uh, I'm pretty excited about. It looks like it'll be pretty, pretty, pretty good. And then finally, the wonderful, kind, and very, uh, very easy to talk to. They return every email, and that is Awakening Realms. I can't thank them enough for, you know, uh, sending this bad boy. And I'm actually going to, I promised them that I would paint a majority of this before we really get it going. But we're going to take a look at this. We're going to learn about it. Uh, I love the first game and uh, I can't wait to check out the second one and that's Kings of Ruin Tainted Grail. Uh, both, uh, anything that Awakening uh, Realms touches turns to gold. Uh, they have just this fantastic following and they make good games because if you don't make good games you're not going to stay around very long for sure. And this one I'm very excited about. I think it'll fit into the channel very, very well. And uh, you'll see a review on that next week as I'm trying to understand it a bit. So I want to get that up. And then you'll see some of these others. And then some of the others you'll see over the next week as we are really mowing through June here and we are pretty busy and I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, one other big project that I have is Too Many Bones. Um, oh, the wonderful people over there sent me the Gearlock miniatures. So what I wanted to do is uh, there was one Gearlock I was missing that I couldn't wait to play and that was Gasket. So um, they, I've got Gasket and I've got the miniature and what we're going to do is I'm going to do a video and I'm going to show you how to paint the brass, you know, just for, for more theme and more you know, the, to kind of get behind the game. I want to show you how to paint gasket and I'm going to be showing you how to I paint all those miniatures uh, for the great, of course, Chip Theory games. So we got that to look forward to as well and I think you'll see that video coming up this week as well. So, a lot of stuff to do. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to get, get to it. So until next time. It's your old pal Rob. I hope you guys like this look at what we have coming up on the channel. So until next time, we'll see you soon.